Hi, and welcome back to Trifecta Pilates. My name is Beth. Today we're going to be doing the classic Pilates mat sequence order, and we're going to level up compared to the first time that we did this in January. If you're brand new to Pilates, you may want to try that level one variation and then come back to this one. If you're ready to get started, however, join me on the mat. started laying down on our mats on our back, bending the knees in towards the chest, give the shins a hug. And before we begin, just gently roll and rock side to side, breathing in to breathing out. I want you to get started with this nice deep breathing, massaging the back a little bit releasing any tension that you feel comfortable to release so that we can work a little bit deeper in the proper areas of the body and a little bit less holding tension as we move through the exercises allow the pelvis to come in center and pause center let's let the arms come by the side of your body take some breath here arms press down into the mat feel the low spine lengthen onto the mat here and exhale take Thighs away from you, shins parallel to the floor, knees over the pelvis. And then pull the thighs back in towards you. We're just going to play around with some leg positions before we go into our 100. I want you to see where you want to move with your legs today. Now keep your shins parallel to the floor, thighs over the hips, and straighten legs to the ceiling. And bend the knees. Repeat straighten legs ceiling to bend the knees. Straight legs ceiling to bend the knees. Now straighten legs forward to any degree, bend the knees. Straighten the legs forward to any degree, bend the knees. One more time, forward, and bend knees all the way into the hips. So you can choose any one of these leg positions, bent in towards you or angle to the floor or anything in between. Reach arms to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, push the air down as you curl up. Find your leg position for today. Here we go, pump the arms. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, breathing. And exhale. Now as you continue breathing and pumping and engaging the abs, a lot going on, I want you to feel abs engaged, but not the back, not the neck. If those areas are working, change where your legs are. We're almost home free with this exercise. Another breath. Pause, pull the thighs in towards you. Go back into that rock because before we continue, I want you to draw awareness what parts of the body were holding tension for you that you want to release away, okay? In 100, inner thighs, abs, back of the arms working, back of the legs. But if shoulders and chest, the lower spine is working, the neck, allow those areas to release. And as the exercises get challenging again, those areas will probably want to ramp back up and engage. That's when I want you to take a pause, refocus, and try to work the abs a little bit more. Let's take the feet down to the floor, reach the arms to the ceiling, and then arc the arms behind the head. Arms reach back to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up as you straighten the legs, bend the spine forward, spine stretch forward. Roll the spine back down. Arms arc to the ceiling behind your head. Repeat, rolling spine up, breathing into your stretch, rolling spine down. Now remember you can use different leg position, different arm position that you may know of, but massaging through the spine regardless. Rolling down, staying down. Arms reach behind you, circle the arms wide and bring them down on the mat, pushing arms down. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees in towards the chest, legs to the ceiling. Open the legs, reach the legs forward, squeeze the legs together up. Open, forward, squeeze the legs together up. Now you can stay here with this or squeeze the legs together up and roll over if it's in your practice. Open the legs, flex, 
roll the spine down, heels scraping against the ceiling, circle the legs, roll over. Roll over is always an option. It's always an option to opt out. Squeezing legs, narrowing them together. Continue breathing on through. We'll just do one more. Allowing pelvis to stay down. Legs circle together and stay up to the ceiling. Pause. Flex one foot. Reach that leg down to the floor. Circle the leg across your body. Forward, around, up. Breathing in and out. Little pause as the leg circles up. Across, around, pause. One more time. We're going to switch sides right away. Open, reach around, up. Or switch directions right away, rather. Breathing in and out. Where are you feeling the work? Abs, not hip. Pause, leg up. Let the opposite leg lift to join. The leg that was just circling, foot flexes. Leg reaches down. Leg circle across, for the round up. Breathing in and out. So we know from that very first level one exercise sequence we did with this, we're feeling work in the abs, not in the hip. You can, of course, bend the knees. Reverse your direction. Open, reach for the round up. Open, for the round up. Breathing in to out. One last time. Very nice. Second leg lifts to join. Bend the knees, grab behind the thighs. Roll yourself up, toes stay off the mat if possible. Take hold of the ankles as an option or hands stay behind the thighs. You're balancing behind the tailbone. Let's give it a go and roll like a ball. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. This should feel so lovely along the entire length of the spine. Try not to let the toes tap down as we come up. That's where your core comes into play. Two more times. One last time. Very nice, stay up. Squeeze and narrow legs together, take feet to the floor. Reverse, roll yourself down. Onto that low spine, the middle spine, not the shoulders. Take hold of one leg, stretch the opposite leg long. Now curl into yourself a little bit more. Switch sides, pull and curl a little bit more. Stay up high, pull and curl. So we're slowing this down a little bit today because we want you to pull and stretch as your opposite leg reaches forward. Single leg stretch here. The low spine stays on the mat. Another nice thing about doing this slow, can you release muscles? Maybe in the throat, the neck. Stretching the legs as you're engaging the abs. One more time each side. Pause, both thighs in. Take an inhale, exhale, curl up a little bit more, squeeze legs together like crazy. Reach arms and legs forward, press in on the legs with the hands. Exhale, pull back in. Double leg stretch, inhale to exhale. Inhale to exhale. Two more times, inhale to exhale. One last time, inhale. To exhale, keep thighs in, roll yourself up, sit tall as the legs open out. Now stay seated tall, let's take the hands near the pelvis, and if you can, straighten the legs. That's secondary to spine staying tall. Reach arms forward, push down with your arms. Spine stretch, round your spine, roll your spine. Press down with the arms, lift spine back up. Press down with the arms, roll forward. With the arms pressing down, it's like they're pressing against the table. So even though they're pressing down, it doesn't look like they're moving much. Very nice. Now grab behind the thighs, bend the knees, pull the abs in, 
and rock back a little bit. Pull the toes in towards one another. Keep the hands where they are. Keep the thighs where they are. Exhale, try to straighten both legs. Maybe they just go partially straight and bend. Repeat, breathe out. Breathe in, we're challenging balance, I know, this is good. Challenging maybe flexibility as well. Now keep your legs bent or more straight and push your legs into your hands and pull your hands into your legs. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's just try rolling here. Roll back, keep the push, roll up. Roll back, keep the push, Roll up, just try one more. Roll back, roll up. Pull legs together, bend the knees. Reverse, roll yourself down. We need to add some challenges in our workout to add variety. Press down into the arms. Exhale, pull thighs in towards us and reach legs to the ceiling. Staying a little bit bent or more straight, your choice. Roll side to side, that very first motion that we did before the hundred. Rock side to side in the pelvis. Find that rock and roll. Now stay rocked to one side. Circle the thighs around to the opposite side, center and up. Reverse it, breathing in, breathing out. Then do this one more time each side. Rolling around. Feeling low spine, a little massage for the low spine. Pause here, bend the knees. Let's get a little curl up. We're gonna get the lower abs to work a little bit more. Curl up and down. Hips come up and down. One more time, hips up and down. Roll yourself up, open the legs. Open the arms across from the shoulders. Take a breath in to rotate. Breath out to reach forward, back arm lifts. Come up and center. Rotate to stretch to up and center. Find that breath, rotate. Back arm lifts up, coming up and center. Inhale to exhale. Inhale and exhale one more time each side. Last one. Very nice, we're gonna bring the legs together and roll over onto your stomach on the mat. Squeeze the legs together, take the hands underneath the shoulders and draw your shoulders together. Legs strong and straight. Inhale, upper or middle, low spine comes up. Exhale, lower down, legs rock up. Upper, middle, low. And now you decide how high you come up. Maybe you don't want your lower spine to come up. Make this about your workout. What would benefit you? And sometimes that means backing off. One last time. Very nice. Stay down. Now come up onto your forearms. Press down onto your forearms. If you did the yoga block variation with me, I want you to imagine that yoga block's there, pulling the abs away from the block. So the abs are strongly engaged. Roll the shoulders back. Let's kick one leg towards you twice. Kick, kick to straight. Switch it, kick, kick to straight. We breathe out and in. Breath out and in. I want you to catch that kick with the abs so we're not rocking. One more time, each side. Very nice. Legs together, lay on one side of your face. Interlace the fingers, take the hands behind the back. Breathe into those hands. Just gonna take a pause before we do double leg kick. Really breathing into the hands. Feeling as you exhale, abs pulling a little bit more deeper. Now kick both legs towards you three times. Kick, two, three. Straighten the legs along the mat. Reach and lift your arms back behind you. Lift the spine. Look to the opposite direction, lower. We kick it out, two, three. Stretch, roll the shoulders back to lift up. Look to the opposite side. Kick, 
two, for three. Stretch and reach back behind to kick, two, three. Stretch and reach back behind, taking the slow today. Stretch and reach back behind last time. Lower down, stay down, very nice. Have a seat on your mat. Bend the knees slightly. Take the hands behind the head. Now the hands are gonna support the weight of the head. And we're gonna pivot our shape back. Pivot back, inhale. Exhale, come up. This is neck pull variation, but we are actually not pulling on the neck. We're supporting the weight of the head so the neck doesn't have to work. One more time. Very nice. And now reach your arms forward. Find that pivot back again. And then roll through your spine down as the knees pull in towards the chest, okay? Arms press down into the mat. Legs reach up towards the ceiling. The front of the hips become cranky and work. Bend your knees and hips a little bit for me or legs more straight. We're gonna go into scissors, pelvis down variation. Split the legs apart, switch. So this is small range of motion because scissors, we're trying to feel the legs move at the exact same time, same distance. So the leg coming towards your face will feel a stretch. And think about an up bicycle today. Go into a bicycle motion. Bicycle, bicycle motion, if I can say that today. Breathing in to breathing out. Feel the back of the arms press down into the floor. Hips releasing. Reverse the direction of your bike. Breathing in and think toes up and up. As the leg reaches, working flexibility of the back of the leg. Pause, both legs up. Open the legs parallel like railroad tracks. Bend the knees, place the feet down the mat. Push down with your feet. Breathing in, breathing out. Your next breath out, push into the back of the arms. Pelvic curl, roll pelvis and spine up. We're gonna do pelvic curl a few times. Working our way into bridge variation, rolling down through the spine. It should feel really nice for the body, for the spine, linking breath to movement. Then we're going to add another challenge. If you can, keep pelvis and spine curling up off the mat. Press more firmly into your left foot. Pull right knee into chest, toes tap down. Knee chest, toes tap. Last one. Replace both feet pressed down into the floor. Opposite leg up to down, up to down. Last time, roll down through the spine. Again, that should feel very nice. Roll yourself up, squeeze legs together. Hands near you to lift up nice and tall. Flex the feet as an option. Arms open across from the shoulders and gently push, push those arms back. Here we go, see the twist. Rotate, rotate to center. Rotate, rotate to center. Breathing in and out. One last time. Stay center. Arms come in front of you. Roll your spine down once again. We'll pull the knees in towards our chest. We're going to do two different variations of jackknife, starting level one. Setting up for success, legs come back up to the ceiling. They lock together. Legs reach forward to any degree. Exhale, pull them up. Legs reach forward. Exhale, pull up. Now you can keep it here. Or next time you pull up, we're gonna roll over. If rollovers in your practice, exhale, pull the abs in, roll over. And roll just right back down for today. Legs reach forward, squeeze legs together. Roll up and over. Your variation, as long as you're feeling work in the abs, in the back of the arms, 
not so much in the neck or throat or back. Last one. Legs forward, up, bend in. Very nice. Going into our side kick here. Coming to one side. Take both hands behind the head. Bottom knee can stay straight, stay bent, excuse me, or straighten both legs. Your choice. So bottom leg bent or both legs straight. Lift top leg up, flex the foot. We go side kick, front, front, pull and reach back. Feel the stretch. Go front, front, pull and reach back. Just one more, front, front, pull and reach back. Let the leg lower down and lay onto your second side on the mat. Both hands behind the head. Head presses into the hands. Push bottom leg down, whether it's bent or straight. Flex top foot three times. We go front, front, pull the thigh back. And front, front, pull back. One last time. Front, front, pull it on back. Let the leg release down and have a seat on your mat. Very nice. Squeeze legs together. Bend the knees as the legs squeezing together. Go on tippy toes so you're behind the sits bones. Now take the legs maybe to a V position with the body and bend. Again, lift the legs to bend. Lift the legs to bend. Adding on, lift the legs as so you bend the knees, roll through the spine. And hands behind the thighs, roll up, lift, arms release, hands behind, roll down, rolling back up. Option, right? Hands release, hands behind, roll down. One last time, we got it, roll up, hands release, hands behind, feet come to the mat. Coming on to our forearms now, palms face up. Like the palms to face up and the back gently to rest into the hands. The shoulders roll back and chest lifts so that we make sure we're still going to engage the abs. Still engage the abs. Take shins parallel to the floor, squeeze legs together. And now we're going to roll pelvis to one side, rock it to the second. This should feel familiar, right? It's the very first thing we got started with. We're just in a different position with our body. That's all. We're elevated. Now keep the legs, roll into one side, circle them forward, around, up. Two more times the same direction. Forward, around, up. Hip circle variation. Forward, around, up. We pause it to the side. Forward, around, up. Breathing in, breathing out. One last time. Breathing out and up. Come up off of the forearms and roll over onto your stomach. Reach long your arms with your legs stretching breathing in breathing out every exhale the abs engage a bit more your next inhale lift everything up spine arms legs we swim it out still breathing in still breathing out this is a very strong practice for the entire back of the body another breath in another breath out release down Press up hands and knees. Shoulders right over hands, knees underneath hips. Straighten one leg back, tuck the toes. And let the opposite leg join. Too much? Take one knee underneath you. Whether one knee is underneath you or not, lift one leg up, sit down. Same leg up and down. One more time. Hold your plank or switch out your supporting knee. Opposite leg up to down, up, to down, up, to down. Very nice, have a seat on a mat. We're going to reverse that. Feet are on the floor, knees bent. Hands come underneath the shoulders here. Roll shoulders back, lift chest up. Press into the feet, lift up, lower down. Press, lift, lower down. One more time, press, lift. Lower down, very nice. And let's come kneeling now. For our side kick kneeling, arms open across from the shoulders, inhale. As you exhale, take one hand down to the floor, opposite thigh lifts, 
free hand behind the head, press head into that free hand, straighten the leg. We're gonna give it a go today. See if we can let the leg come front, front, pull back. Front, front, pull back. This exercise is challenging. Just do your best. One more time. Very nice. Replace the knee, pause up, and switch sides. Opposite hand comes down, free hand behind the head. Extend the leg, here we go, front, Front, pull back, front, front, and back. Two, just one more time. Very nice, we'll keep practicing that one in future classes. Have a seat now, one hand down. Let's work variation for our side bend. So come on to your form, legs slightly bent. We're gonna come up to your side plank, and from there lift up and over, lower waistline down, look to toes. Lift up, over, lower waistline down, look toes. One more time, up, over, lower waistline down, look toes. Lift up, pelvis returns, very nice. So that's just our forearm variation for our side bend. Still challenging, right? Even variations in Pilates can still pose a challenge. Inhale, exhale, come up to side plank, and now lift up, over, bend it down. Lift up, over, bend it down. Lift up, over, bend it down. Stay lifted, bend the knees. Very nice, have a seat on your mat and come cross-legged, stretching forward. That should feel nice, forward fold stretch. Breathing in, breathing out. Now bend your knees. Grab behind your thighs and extend your legs. It's like teaser position, just cross-legged. Bend the knees, roll forward, stretch. We're gonna do that again. Bend the knees, roll back, hands behind the thighs for balance. Extend the legs, bend the knees, stretch forward. Now one more time, with or without the hands. If it's without, it looks like this. Very nice. Roll yourself up, switch the cross of your legs. We're not quite done with that. Give yourself a forward fold stretch. This is boomerang variation. Just focusing on that forward fold stretch. And now bend the knees, pull into yourself, grab behind the thighs, tight shape as the legs go more straight. Bend the knees and extend and stretch. Repeat two more times, one with the hands. I like using the hands, because then the front of my legs don't work so much. When that happens, I work the abs more. With or without the hands. I'll be adding that challenge of reaching arms. As you reach the legs, bend the knees, stretch forward. Very nice. Rolling up. Bend both knees. Knees in line with the shoulders, hands come to the inside of the legs and come off your toes. Taking some breath here, rolling along our spine once again for seal variation. Inhale, roll back, exhale up. Again, this should feel good on the back. Now stay up, let's give it a go, move the legs. One, like you're clapping the feet, that's where the name seal comes in, roll back. Roll up three claps. This one usually makes people smile and I love it. We don't have to take ourselves so seriously. One last time. Very nice, cross the legs at the shins. Give yourself a forward fold variation for crab. We'll come up out of this position in just a few breaths. Now roll yourself up and take the hands in your pelvis. And rather than just using the hands, I want you to squeeze the buttocks, the glutes, use the hands a little bit and come up off the sits bones and release. Come up off the sits bones and release. Just one more time, come up off the sits bones and release. Switch the cross of your legs. Not terribly exciting, I know, but crab has a lot of different parts, so we're just focusing on getting glutes engaged with that little lift. Taking some breath here. (sighs) 
rolling yourself up, hands come near you again. So it's not so much pushing just with the arms. I want you to feel that the glutes engage and that's what propels you up. That's what we want eventually for crab. So glutes engage up and down. Glutes engage up and down. Glutes engage up and down. Very nice, roll over onto your stomach. Take one hand underneath the forehead, bend the opposite knee, take hold of the ankle. This is our rocking prep. We're doing single leg stretch variation. Inhale to exhale. In your next inhale, you're gonna push the foot into the hand, lift your spine up, exhale, lowering on down. Two more times, push to lower, one last time, push to lower. Very nice. Let that leg release. Switch out your sides. Taking some breath for yourself here. Pressing evenly with your pelvis. Breathing deeply. Find your push inhale. Exhale to lower. Find that push inhale. Exhale to lower. Just one more time, push. To lower very nice let that leg release and have a seat this one control balance we're going to be in a much different position so rather than laying on our backs and legs flipped over our head we're going to have our legs in front of us and flip our body over the legs we've been here already right breathing in breathing out now if you can reach hold of the feet do so if not reach hold somewhere on the legs for me I want you to push and engage the legs in towards one another. If you have hold of the feet, push your feet into your hands. Take some breath here. Imagine the bowling ball in your belly. Pull the abs back. So the bowling ball is pushing and opening that lower spine a little bit more. Breathing in, breathing out. We're just trying to get nice open spine position. We'll eventually do this with our spine on the mat and our legs over our head, but I want you to gather that flexibility first. Another breath here. Very nice. Roll yourself up and push up variation. Very last exercise. So at the back edge of our mat, heels together, toes apart. Hands come down even if you need to bend your knees. Hands down. We're gonna try the transition for our push-up variation. I want full hand to step away, full hand to step away, full hand, full hand, plank. Take a breath and plank. Full hand walks back towards the feet. Walk it back, walk it back, bend the knees as needed. Repeat, here we go, full hand, full hand, full hand. In your plank, now two inches. Think how small two inches is. Bend the elbows, two inches. Pause, pull the abs in, push up. Hand, walk, walk, walk. Just one more time, taking a breath in your forward fold and walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. Hold plank, taking a breath here, squeeze heels together. Maybe you bend four inches, bend the elbows, strong center, push back up, hands walk, hands walk, stay in that forward fold, let the heels open away from one another, bend the knees as you would like, inhale to exhale, release the skull, In your next breath out, roll up through the spine, coming to your standing position. Inhale, whenever you're standing, roll down through the spine, breathing out. Take your time. Know all the work we do on the mat is so we can move through life with greater ease. Greater alignment, more awareness, allow yourself to stay upright, arms by your side, 
eyes softly close and feel where your alignment is. Head, shoulders, spine, arms, where are your ribs, pelvis, legs. The classic Pilates sequence is meant to work out our imbalances, and we all have them. Most of us anyways, myself included, we have imbalances that we need to work through. Some exercises will be easier, some exercises are more challenging. Allow the eyes to softly open, welcoming your day once again. And that was definitely a level up for a lot of the exercises for this classic potty sequence that we did. Let me know what exercises you find a little bit easier to move with and what exercises give you a little bit more of a challenge. We'd love to know that because those exercises that give you more of a challenge, we want to work on those even more. We want to make those challenging exercises easier, those easy exercises, and those easy exercises more challenging. I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.